Hey, 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 greetings and welcome to another video. Today we're playing Civilization 6, so let's have some fun. But if you close your eyes. Hello, awesome people, welcome back to Civilization 6 and welcome to a new series with Brazil. A lot of you people have been asking me to do a Brazil playthrough. And that is what we're gonna do. We're playing on the Earth True Start location map with random sieves. Uh, I have checked if I can make it bigger, um, but the True Start location map, uh, Earth map, is set to a single size, which is, I think, standard. Um, so we can't make it bigger. We can't add more sieves. Um, that's just the way it is. Uh, so sorry for those who wanted to see that. Maybe there's a mod somewhere that can do that, but like I said, I don't have the time for now to test out mods. Uh, maybe in the future, not for now. We're gonna play as Brazil, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what Brazil can do. So we have uh, Magnanimous. After recruiting or patronizing, patronizing a great person, 20% of its. Well, actually, you can read up if you want to. I will just explain uh, the ones that aren't explained here. So Street Carnival, it's a uh, other entertainment complex, so it's better than a normal entertainment complex. Uh, and we have the Minas Gerais. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. This is a uh, replacement for the battleship and it's, it's just plain stronger than the battleship so pretty simple stuff actually um, and yeah we're gonna the goal of the series is to sort of colonize Europe <laughs> instead of Europe colonizing South America slash Brazil or whatever um, so yeah your people look to you Emperor Pedro II to lead Brazil onto the world stage Use your reputation as a patron of artists, scientists, and engineers to draw the greatest minds to, your, to our fertile home. For it is in the lush rainforests, teeming with life, that your people thrive. Watch them in the carnival as they dance the samba in celebration of your great feats, Pedro the Magnanimous. That was a big leap. From rainforests to carnival. But, but never mind, we're gonna start the game. And yeah, we're of course in Brazil. Whoops, that's the wrong button. We're of course in Brazil. The Pantanal is the most and there is the Pantanal. alluvial plain of the planet, and perhaps the least known area of the world. So right away we have food and culture uh, open up for us, which is going to be huge. But our actual capital city will be on the coast uh, because that's just the way it is. Um, Rio de Janeiro. It has bananas. It has fish. We're not gonna like like last series. We're not gonna rename the capital, um, but we're gonna rename the other cities. So when I settle a city, make sure to uh, leave suggestions for names. Uh, I'm not gonna come back to the ones that we had that uh, that we had left in the Rome playthrough um, because that's just you know it belongs to the Rome playthrough. Uh, by the way, there's also an epilogue coming from that Rome play playthrough with the entire narrative of Captain Halo. Uh, in, who commented each and uh, each and single episode which what happened in the episode and like a sort of a history styled narrative which was really cool we're gonna go for a scout um so yeah i'm gonna make a an epilogue video of that i'm not sure when it will be out i'm hoping i'm hoping it will be out with this episode with the start of the new series but i can't promise anything um yeah what should we do probably where is the plantation? Because we need the plantation for um, for the bananas, right? Irrigation, yeah. Where is irrigation? Hmm. But we also need sailing. We need everything. You know what? Let's just go for sailing first, so we can get the fish in. Um, oh, by the way, I forgot to say this. I've disabled religious victory for this series again because it's just ah, uh, it's just not so fun. Um, last series were really cool, and part of that was because of the uh, disabling disabling of the religious victory condition. Um, I will enable it once again, probably when the next ep uh, update, big update for um, Civ comes out, because that's a big religion overall, and I want to see how that works. Uh, there is also a new Civ coming, uh, the Khmer, I think. Um, which is mostly focused about religion. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be cool. Buenos Aires. We found Argentina. So yeah, like I mentioned, as always, I don't know which other civs are in this game. Um, 
One good thing, if Poland is in the game, then it will be hard for them to harass us, at least early game, because we're on an entire other continent. So that's gonna be good. We get our scout, yep. And let's go for a slinger probably to defend. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, there's our first barbarian encampment. So our first, um, it is not that life ashore is distasteful to me, but life at sea is better. So our first new city will probably be near the Pantanal. I mean, the culture and the uh, the food is just really uh, important. Uh, map options. Let's actually check the yield icons. Yeah. So we're gonna go there. And that will be totally fine for us. That will give us a, a good boost early game. Um, let's go pottery, actually. And let's go and check these guys out. If we can get rid of them quite fast, that would be amazing. You know what? I'm going to stand in here as a defensive option. And I'm going to bring in the slinger to kill it. So that we get get the Eureka for archery. I don't want to go there. So, yeah. Yeah, so excited about this new series. Best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. Yeah, like I said, so, so, so uh, enthusiastic about this new series. Let's, uh, you know what? We should get a pan Pantheon. At least the Pantheon and then go to production. Um, yeah, I, I, I love Brazil as a sieve. Uh, let's do... We could discover a second continent actually. But nah. Um, yeah, I love Brazil as a sieve. Uh, I love playing this game. Um, and I like the fact that we have this sort of jungle style theme in South America going on. It's really cool. So I'm, yeah, I'm excited for this series. Uh, I think it was a great suggestion of you guys to actually go uh, towards this this game. So let's build a monument first now. Uh, our slinger, yeah, you're gonna run to uh, towards these guys. Okay, they're starting to produce slingers. That's not what we want. So we're gonna attack the slinger. Move up. No man ever wetted clay and then left it, as if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. <laughs> okay, that guy's probably gonna get killed, and that's uh, not good for us. Hmm. Shipbuilding allows all land units to embark. That's actually pretty huge, but it's 32 turns. But it would allow us to go and explore overseas, which is definitely a important thing here. Although... Hmm... I'm not sure. You know what, I don't think we're gonna meet another civilization pretty soon because the Aztecs are not here, otherwise we would have seen them. Maybe America's over here, but yeah, chances are that that will be a long time before we find them. Uh, and the other ones are all, are, are all at other continents, so we're not going to find them either. So let's go for riding, so we won't get our campuses too late. Yeah, the jungle is really killing the movement here. Please don't kill my uh, warrior. Thank you. Let's just move in the jungle. And we built our monument. So we now need a granary. Definitely, we need housing. You're gonna be promoted. Uh, Yeah, sure, I'll take that one. Oh, that's actually a good promotion there. Good heal on that one. Um, Yeah, we're gonna kill that guy with the slinger. Please don't suicide yourself.
I want to kill you with my slinger. Okay, you're going back. That's fine. By exchanging. Uh, we don't have a Pantheon yet, so we're still waiting on that. Um, craftsmanship, early empire. Yeah. Let's do early empire so we can go to political philosophy. Get those governments up and running. You're just waiting there. Kill it. Yeah, Eureka for archery. That's fine. Take that one. Okay, you're gonna go back. And uh, you are probably gonna go back to... Um, you know what? You're gonna stand in the Pantanel. And keep vision over that. So we can actually uh, make sure that there are no barbarians spawning. Where we wanted to settle our next city. Oh, and there we go. We have a barbarian encampment already. So, we're gonna move you guys up. Yeah, by the way, I'm so glad that all you people li uh, seem to like the, uh, the Lost series. I mean, I can't thank you enough for all the kind words that you are uh, giving me in the comments and on Discord and stuff like that. It really means means a lot to me um, that you guys like the content that I make. Uh, I mean, there's otherwise there's not really a reason for me to make content otherwise than to have fun myself. Um, yeah, we could go for a builder, but I think we're going to go for a settler first. Settle Pantanel as soon as possible. Um, no, we're going to... Okay. We're gonna attack you. You know what? You just auto scout. That's fine. Writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. Writing is easy. <laughs> All you have to do. Still, that's bug in there. Words. That bug is in there. Um. Hmm. We need irrigation. We definitely need irrigation. We need the coffee and the bananas online. After we have that settler, we're gonna have a builder. Uh, what's this? City state quest completed. We got an envoy. For Buea's Heirs, that's actually pretty good, but because Buea's Heirs will give us uh, more amenities, so that's awesome. You guys are gonna move up. So a lot of barbarian busting right away. A lot of action. Whoa! Wait a second, that was not supposed to happen. Uh, we're gonna get back here and get a better defensive position Because that is mental This is just mental You're gonna fortify and hope that these guys run into you because you have the uh, hills, right? This is hills, right? Would you please show me never mind Okay, this is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. Please leave. Leave my lands. Go away. No, they're not gonna go away. Oh, we have a Pantheon. That's good. Let's focus on the positive things. <laughs> um, Let's see, what should we get? We have a lot of rainforest. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we have a lot of rainforest. We have a lot of bananas too. Because of the rainforest. Uh, we could go for oral tradition. Which is pretty good. Um, but the thing is, I don't really... Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go for oral tradition. The bananas will give us extra culture. That's fine. Uh, and next turn we're gonna move on from that Pantheon, from that God, of, God King uh, policy because we don't need it anymore. We don't need the faith anymore. Um, yeah, we're gonna make slingers. Sorry, we need we need people to defend our lands now. And you are just gonna have to wait. Sorry, dude. Uh, yeah. Let's check out where we're gonna settle. So if we... I want to have the Pantanel in, right in range, but I don't want to be too close to uh, my capital. So they will work towards here. That's three tiles. So if we like, sort of settle over here. 
Wait, if we take a look at through the settler lens, this is going to be... Oh, that's actually going to be pretty good. And that's one, two, three, one, two. Then we miss out on one pantanel spot. Hmm. We could go and build cities around it. So like one here, one there, and one there, and you no. Know. That's not the best thing. I'm, I think I'm going to go for a, a little bit more crappy city that needs uh, like an aqueduct or something. I think I'm going to settle it right there. That way we will get the entire Pantanel, we will get those bananas, we will get the copper, the silver, more copper. And uh, we've got horses. Probably not because probably Buenos Aires is going to pick those up. We have mountains. The only thing is we don't have fresh water. So we need to inv uh, invest in some uh, housing. But that's going to be fine. Going to be totally okay with that. The man who has grit enough to bring look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and fell. And you can foresee the future too. Oops, I didn't mean to click that other one uh, away, but that's fine. Change policies. Uh, we're going to go with not more settlers. We don't need that right now. Extra production. That will be very handy. Uh, you are going to run back into the city and you're going to heal. These barbarians are really a nuisance right now. <laughs> uh, let's go for uh, mining, I guess. So we can chop force if we want to. Mysticism. The Oracle. It's not bad. And would enable us to maybe get a uh, religion up and coming. But I want to go political philosophy. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's get our first uh, government upgrades happening. Please go away. Okay, we can't go away. You're gonna go here. You're just gonna sit here. You are gonna build. I want to build a builder, but we can't. They're, these barbarians are just too, too strong right now. So I think we need another warrior to defend our lands. Push them back at least a little bit. Okay, we're gonna bring you down there. Hopefully you won't get shot. Uh, and we need to defend our city, so. Who deserves more That's gonna be a problem. The wife of a coal miner. Hmm, okay, bronze working. Let's see if we have iron in here. That would be a, a massive game changer too. Let's, with this guy, let's just run towards Buenos Aires and hope he, we will reach that. So that Buenos Aires can actually help kill these barbarians. Um, what should we build? Uh, probably start build, working on a builder right now. Why can't we range attack that guy? Uh, probably because we have this guy in here. So you are going to move out. You're going to kill this guy. Yeah, that, that should be fine. Once these are driven away... Uh, Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Once these guys are driven away, we are going to take our army and... Uh, Crush that little barbarian encampment, but first we're gonna take our, our settler to here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, good joy. Let's run. Hopefully we will survive. Let's shoot this guy. And let's kill him. Okay, that works out fine. And... Please leave me alone. So the settler is going to move now. You're going to be promoted. Yeah, they're fighting these guys now. That's totally fine. We're going to move towards these guys. 
And Settler's just gonna move up. Ah, uh, I think we're gonna bring the Slinger too. We should definitely build a trader right now. To get to our new city or to Buenos Aires, which will be fine. Uh, you, you are gonna go for fish because they can't raid the fish, can't pillage the fish right now. You're gonna heal up under the protection of Buenos Aires. And I think that will be fine. Yeah, we have a, we have a rough start here, but we are managing. That's a kill, that's good. We're gonna move up with you guys. Probably gonna leave the settler there for one turn so he has to wait. Uh, we're gonna go back to the bananas because that's of course our... Uh, we will get some culture from that Bronze one we, once we improve the it. Of the form. Wine of the mind. Because of our pantheon, so yeah, let's do that. Um, animal husbandry, yeah, we need to unlock those too, so that's fine. Let's make a plantation. And I think we now have an extra culture from that. Yeah, we have an extra culture from that. That's going to be amazing. So, you're going to be promoted. Did you do it? Yeah, you did do it. Okay, you are just going to heal up. Uh, You're going to just stand here and you're going to be linked. So, yeah. Probably the safest way. We might want to bring you back to our capital city. And then heal you up there. That's going to be way faster. And way safer too. Hanging gardens. Plus two housing. Increases growth by 15% in all cities. Where would we build it? Oh wow, we have a lot of choices. We do have iron by the way. But I'm not going to build it this right now. Although it's, it's only 10 turns, man. It's only 10 turns. Okay, I feel like... I feel like we should do this. Build it right there. Hang gardens, here we come. That would be amazing to have the hang gardens. Uh, you. You're gonna help out on these barbarians. That's gonna be fine. Yeah. Well, that's it for today. Feel free to comment and leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. Also, subscribe if you haven't and check out my Twitter and Facebook pages. The links are down in the description. It really helps me out a lot when you guys do that. If you want to support me, then please check out my Patreon page. It's also down there. You can get some cool rewards for helping me out, like sneak peeks and a vote in future projects. As always, I've been Hipbone, you've been yourself, thanks for being awesome. Thanks for watching.